guys, Lukey Luke here with my trusty sidekick, Reginald. We're to the sidekick game. We're here at Gasolina, South Wharf in Melbourne. We've got the W800 Kawasaki today. We've tested it, we've played with it, we've ridden it. We picked it up in Campbellfield. We've been all over Melbourne on it. You know, first thoughts. Oh, you know the old axiom, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Originally, the W1 good. came out in 1966 and they haven't changed the look of it. And quite rightly so, you know, classic motorcycle. Fix all the boxes in excited areas that other bikes don't. Oh, it looks good. I mean, I'll give it, I'll give it 10 points for looks. Really nimble, easy to throw around, felt light. The bike felt extremely yeah, light. Yeah, very light, very chuckable, and really torpy too. Nice big heavy flywheel, and that parallel twin, it really pulls well. They've got the gearing right, I reckon. I've ridden a lot of uh, Triumphs in the past. Yep. W800 immediately feels a lot lighter yep. to ride. Everything seems to fall to hand pretty well. And it looks fantastic too, you know, they've gone with metal rather than plastic in a, in a lot of areas where other manufacturers might cheat a bit and throw a chrome bit of plastic on it. That's all steel, baby. I like the switch box. I know that's your kind of area. Yeah, man, um, you're treading on the toes. No, but you know, like I, like I said, you know, I've ridden a lot of Triumphs. The thing I liked about the W800 as well was that they were quite small. It looks the part and the mirrors are great, you know, you can see things behind you. They've got a, a counterbalancer in there so the vibrations aren't an issue through the pegs or through the bars. Now, I noticed that it was really, really smooth to Ride. So mate, who do you think the bike's aimed at? The average punter that just wants to commute on something that looks cool, feels nice. Women particularly, I thought, being like it's a lot lighter and easy to throw around. It, you know, it's not trying to break any records. The seat height's nice and low too, and the seat isn't too wide at the size, so you're not, you know, duck walking it at the lights. You can put a foot down nice and easy. Don't know if you really want to tour on it. It's not the kind of bike you could do two or three days and go into state on. Agreed. Comfy seat. Getting nailed by the wind wasn't, I wasn't in a happy place. You know, it was very cold this morning, 13 degrees in Melbourne. Could have done with one of those windshields. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I just wanted to duck behind something. How about the exhaust? I really like the old pea shooter exhaust on it, and it's got a nice exhaust note for a stock bike. Don't agree with him. Okay, don't, don't agree. Don't agree. agree. It's like, you know, open it up. I like the pea shooter style, it does look good. Aftermarket set of pipes, give it that real rasp. I noticed there were some heads turning, you know, so if you want to be seen on a bike and have the uh, the attention that some motorcyclists like to receive. Could we had our bell helmets on that. Yeah, could, well be. Helmet. could well be. So while it's got the classic look, you don't have to suffer through some of the classic features. There's a lot of uh, modern technology on there, but they've gone to the trouble to hide that. We've still got the spoke wheels, which I think look fantastic on that, mm. that period bike. You know, it's nice to not put the leathers on for a change and just head out there and go for a bit of a burn through the city. Yeah, grab yourself a bell open face helmet and one of those trendy hipster scarves that the, the kiddies seem to love. No, days. no, no, see, you think they're trendy, but I, I, I no, it's no, not. No, no, it's no not. I mean, that scarf you put on there, that was not the cool. scarves, that was not kid, cool. Though, okay. <laughs> but you wouldn't want to bother with uh, heated grips or a heated seat on that, you know, you dress for the occasion, don't you? Yeah. It's not going to drip oil all over your garage floor, you don't have to worry about that. It's uh, all of the benefits of uh, old school motorcycling with uh, all the pluses of modern technology. Well there you have it guys, that's the W800. That's what old mate Reginald thinks of it. And uh, mate, I think it's a pretty cool bike overall. It was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs>